It was a lovely day on the Isle of Sodor. The air was crisp, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Thomas, I've given you a much-needed tune-up, my friend, said Sir Topham Hat. Oh, boy, thanks! Now, as soon as I put your brakes back in, you'll be as good as new. Wait, why am I rolling? Am I moving or the tree's moving? What'd you say about my brakes? You took out my what? Holy cow, I can't stop! <sighs> Clearly, this is why I don't have real friends. Screamed Thomas, and indeed, he did not. All right, talk to me. Well, it seems Thomas is out of control and we can't stop him. Why can't I stop him? <laughs> this is Harold the helicopter. How can I help you? Asked Harold. Harold, this is control. I need you to shoot at Thomas and derail him from the track. Shoot at Thomas? Why, I couldn't. Thomas is my friend. Well, your friend is about to crash head first into a nearby town. Ugh, this is why I never work with talking machines. Well, it's like they say, never send a smiley helicopter to do an action star's work. Nobody says that. What's his cargo? Pardon? Thomas, his cargo. What's he carrying? Oh, nothing too dangerous. Pillows, soft cheeses, a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb? And soft cheeses? Sheesh, were you even listening? All right, come on. I've got a train to catch. Oh, that's just terrible. I like this scene, McQueen. See, Mater? It's good to travel the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm unstoppable. It's a medical condition. I got a partner with him? I told you, I work alone. I like you. Look, nobody knows the rails better than Percy. Fine. Just try to keep up, Junior. You're a nice man. Ah, somebody help me! I have propellers to feed! Screamed Thomas, and indeed, he did stop not. Him. Why can't I stop <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I'm unstoppable! It's a medical condition! Screamed Thomas, and indeed, he did not. Hurry! Hurry!